that's how you start a video. Hello! Ah, they're in order though. <laughs> like, you can just wait there. You can just wait there, I'll just walk down the hallway. Right, so, if you can still hear us, probably not. Jump cut, I'm back! Right, okay, so I've just had a post. So, um, again, going back to if anyone's followers recently, some of the VHSs I've been buying, I've been selling some of the VHSs. This is my temporary wardrobe at the moment. I've been selling a lot of VHSs. And then, like, sort of, like, trying to build up my Corey Haim, Corey Feldman collection, it's been based on the fact that, right, search of films that Feldman will not be tagged in. You know, Maverick, when I bought Maverick, Feldman's not going to have a fucking name check on that on eBay, is he? You know what I mean? He's an obsolete, but we're looking about the big box collection. Now, one film, when I was living in New Zealand in 1996, I remember when my dad would, would come from Machuata to Nelson, and you went to Nelson, and the fucking new release at that time was Tales of the Crypt, Bordello of Blood. Now, this is when you sort of get access a little bit to the internet and stuff like that, and you know, I knew that Feldman was going to be in Bordello of Blood. Bordello of Blood had quite a bit of, like, packing about it. Uh, Demon Knight with Billy Zane had done okay, and the planned trilogy was in the works. Bordello of Blood did not perform that well, and Bordello of Blood, I remember being there, and I've seen it on the bottom shelf. And my dad, considering my dad's lived in New Zealand for pretty much three quarters of my life, um, went to a bit of a parent mode and was like, well, I'll have to watch it before I let you know if I can, you can watch it. I'm like, I'm 16 at this point. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But again, fair enough, give him credit for that. Um, so Bordello of Blood, I hope this fucking is Bordello of Blood. But anyway, I got to see Bordello of Blood in New Zealand and fast track forward, um, Bordello of Blood seen the light of day, but never seen a release over here on dvd and the last couple of years it's seen a release on blu-ray now this is the american release and i've talked about this before because dennis miller erika everlich who's the chick from under siege bear watch obviously that's angela everhart so they put the wrong people on the wrong box and that's the one i had for ages now corey Feldman gets his name just before and john kasner so his name's right down there corey Feldman pretty much plays um, he plays a lost boy in it, and he even gets killed by a water pistol. And again, it's cheesy, it's funky, you know what I mean? But again, it's seen in the release on Blu-ray, and the iconic front cover of the girls, the Crypt Keeper on the front there, Bordello of Blood 80, no extra features. And I tell you what, I'm glad I bought that the day it came out. Not only, We got about four copies of that in at work. Uh, it was about 14 99 and then I've never seen it since. So that's been pretty cool to be in the collection. Now, floating down big box for your chesses I've discovered Bordello of Blood and I also look at that sound and vision Torquay yeah. um discovered Bordello of Blood and big box release I've got to fucking have that so here it is well packaged unlike me <laughs> you know what I said mine out on these all the time yeah. right so I've never had this in my collection Dennis Miller again that's probably fucking postman. So there has been around, no mold on it. Bordello of blood um, from Torquay, so it is an extra rental. There, it's even got the, the stamp on it. Um, as I say, Corey Fallon gets his name briefly on there. The girl's legs opening up in the crib, keep having a peek while he's having a um, little cocktail there. 1996, I just remember that back in the day. And that's what's pretty awesome about getting this. Um, as I say, like that's the American cover, and you think, come on, man, I mean, that's fucking class. But again, for it to have a Blu-ray release as well. But then for Demon Knight not to come out. Do you know what I mean? Because Demon Knight was everywhere. Demon Knight is even the poster when Corey Feldman gets out of bed and Demon Knight's in the background. So it's, you know, it's a film that's aware of what it is. And they just never went for the sequel. Tales for the Crypt, it's been an iconic thing. How it hasn't had a Netflix reboot, you know, a revival, short storytelling, especially some of the... Like, if you did a new series now... You can look at all these horror directors and people have had great hits. Like You can look at the Richard Stanleys or the John Carpenters and go, hey, do you want to do an episode for Netflix? He's a million pound. <laughs> do a story. You know what I mean? And like, it's a name check like Tales of the Crypt that could do something like that. I mean, warrants like cult legality and stuff like that. But yeah, um, as I say, like Creepshow is another thing. Yeah, part of that era. But yeah, seeing the outtakes. Look at that. She's the wrong way around. It's the same picture. 
Whoever has. The only problem, I mean, Corey Feldman actually is on the Blu uh, ray cover there. The only problem, which will be the next outtake, is like the shell's starting to bow. Yeah, I know uh, Britt was in the producer. You it's starting to bow a bit. It's solid enough, but they are starting to bow. But Bordello Blood's going to have to totally go on the top shelf. Some burbs moved along. We'll surrender. Maverick, there's Maverick. And uh, so. yeah, we'll get there. There you go, Tales of the Crypt. Bordello of Blood. I actually had to get up and come and see if I had it. I see if, you know, I've got a Blu ray, but um, there's only a few you can maybe get. Now, Loaded Weapon 1. Am I even on camera? I can't see because the light. I'm a zombie. Um, Loaded Weapon 1 is one I've tempted it with. Um, but yeah, it, uh, again, I'm not going to pay Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle prices or fucking Friday the 13th prices. I'll walk into a charity shop and find it one day. It's because it'll happen. You never know. Right, thanks for watching. Look after your VHS. Goodbye for now.